Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now for today's video, we're gonna be providing an update on none other than DigiHost Technology. This is a Bitcoin or crypto mining focused company based in the United States. We've covered them on the channel previously and they've got a ton of exciting stuff going on that I want to talk about in today's presentation. Now before we get into it, please take a second, hit the like button you guys. It's a big help to myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to do so. And let me know in the comment section below if you're currently holding shares of DigiHost and how you think they stack up to some of the other miners we talk about on the channel such as Bitfarms and HUD8. Now with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right. Today's video, we're gonna be providing an update on DigiHost Technology. Now this is a small cap crypto mining company we've talked about on the channel previously. Our first coverage I think was about two months ago. The company was trading in the $9 Canadian range and you can see as of close on Wednesday, April 20th, we're now sitting sub $4, which is why I thought it's a perfect opportunity to provide an update on this company in case you're looking for exposure to the crypto mining sector. Now if you're wondering why my voice is a little bit raspy I'm actually just getting over a sickness so this is my first video back and that's why this one's actually going to be a little bit shorter so you can see here on the day down 13 cents or about 3.2 percent per share again ticker symbol on this one DGHI on the Toronto Venture Exchange and also trades on the Nasdaq in the US under the same ticker symbol and closed out at three dollars and six cents US now you can see in terms of market cap sitting just below 110 million dollars Canadian so really just a fraction of the market cap of some of the bigger players like Hive, Riot, Bitfarms, and even HUD8 that are sitting right around that billion dollar market cap. So this one definitely is a little bit smaller scale. And there's a couple of really unique things about DigiHost that we're gonna talk about in today's presentation. But before we do, again, if you look at the chart, you can see we've pulled back all the way from the nine, 950 range, kind of in the middle of November. Now again, to that sub $4 Canadian level as of close on Wednesday, April 20th. Now, before we get into our update on DigiHost, I did want to put a quick plug in for iTrust Capital, you guys. This is a great platform if you're bullish on the price of cryptocurrency long term, like myself. You can see here, you can buy and trade over 25 cryptocurrencies, including traditional gold and silver on the platform. And what iTrust Capital actually allows you to do, particularly for those of you located in the United States, is really take advantage of some of the tax benefits or tax shelters associated with Roth and Roth IRA type of investment or retirement accounts. And as you can see here on their main landing page, you can actually hold cryptocurrencies in your Roth, SEP, or traditional IRA through the iTrust platform. And that's actually what allows you to take advantage of those tax benefits. Now, in addition to that, there's no monthly fees. You've got access 24 seven to your account. Obviously the crypto market never sleeps, unlike traditional equities. You can see they've got $5 billion in total transactions. Over 150,000 accounts are now created and a five-star rating on on Google. So in terms of investing in crypto for retirement, this is definitely the platform to go to you guys. I'll leave a link in the video description below. It actually gives you a hundred dollar sign up or referral bonus. And again, for those of you located in the United States that are bullish on the crypto market long term, this one is definitely worth a look. Now pivoting back to DigiHost here, and for those of you who maybe missed our initial coverage, I did want to do a quick summary of what this company is all about, because it is a little bit different than some of the other mining companies we talk about on the channel like Bitfarms and HUD8. DigiHost is a blockchain technology company based in the United States, so that's one of the key differences here. It's not Canadian based, with a focus on Bitcoin mining. Our growth oriented strategy is to continuously exploit opportunities that increase mining hash rate, reduce energy costs through favorable contracts and vertical integration, and increase the company's inventory of Bitcoin mined and held. So they do have that hold on for dear life strategy, similar to some of the other miners. But as you're gonna see in a second here, it's not exclusive to Bitcoin. DigiHost is well positioned to maintain strong Bitcoin mining operations while continuing to execute on its strategy to expand its business operations and achieve its goal of being one of the fastest growing Bitcoin mining companies in North America. 
And with that being said, that's a perfect segue to the operational update, which we're going to cover next up here. So as you can see, April 4th, DigiHost achieves milestone of one exahash per second in hash rate and announces Bitcoin dividend policy. So a number of things to unpack in this article, but super exciting for DigiHost and anyone invested in this company. And for full disclosure, at this point in time, I'm currently not invested in DigiHost shares or any option strategies associated with DGHI. So as part of this press release, DigiHost is also announcing unaudited Bitcoin production results for the month of March and the quarter ending March 31st. Plus an update on their dividend policy again, which was mentioned in the title. And this was super interesting here, you guys. DigiHost announced a new dividend policy pursuant to which DigiHost expects in the future to declare dividends payable to shareholders in either Bitcoin or cash. So this is the first time I've actually seen this with any publicly traded company, but rather than getting your dividends in actual cash, you can now elect or choose to take them in Bitcoin payments. So that's definitely exciting and one thing I wanted to call out specifically at the top here. Now in terms of their actual production update and their hash rate update, you can see throughout the first quarter of 2022, so this is Q1 results, the company continued to make progress on deployment of just about 11,000 new M30S and M30S Plus miners, which they acquired last year. This is coming from the chairman and CEO of DigiHost. With more than half of those miners currently in operation, we have more than doubled our hash rate from 415 petahash at year end 2021 to approximately one exahash per second today. So again, to put this in perspective, you guys, we just did an update on BitFarms. They actually just hit the three exahash per second hash rate. So DigiHost has about a third of the overall hash rate, but their market cap is about an eighth or a tenth of what you're getting with HUD8 or BitFarms. And that's exactly why I refer to this as a cheap crypto mining alternative or option if you're looking to invest in this sector. Now, based on this one exahash per second hash rate, that equates to approximately 4.25 Bitcoin per day, or a run rate of about 120 Bitcoin per month. So again, compared to BitFarms in the neighborhood of about 13.3 Bitcoin per day, and HUD8 in the neighborhood of about 11 Bitcoin per day, again, a little bit smaller here, about a third of the overall size, but you're definitely getting a much more attractive market cap. Now, the other factor here is actually about the reserve, or the amount of Bitcoin or crypto that the companies hold. And we're gonna talk about that in a second here. Now the CEO does provide a little bit more detail about the dividend policies, which are gonna be based upon the company's net income. Dividends under the new policy will be payable in either Bitcoin or cash. So again, giving that optionality to investors at the election of each shareholder. Future levels of dividends will be established by the DigiHost board of directors based upon market conditions at the time. And it's expected the first dividend will be approximately 10% of net income. So super exciting update and again a first at least from what I've seen in the industry in terms of getting your dividend paid out in Bitcoin. Now on top of that or additionally to avoid shareholder dilution the company will begin to monetize a portion of Bitcoin mined to fund the company's operating costs and SG&A or selling general and administrative expenses thereby removing the need to access equity markets in order to fund these costs. So essentially what that means is they're going to now be selling a portion of the Bitcoin they mine each month to fund their operations to avoid having to raise money or dilute shareholders. Now this is kind of a double-edged sword here you guys. Obviously I don't like shareholder dilution but the problem with this is the price of Bitcoin right now is very low so if they're actually being forced to sell some of their mined Bitcoin at these low prices that may be a lost opportunity compared to some of the other companies like HUD8 which have that hold on for dear life strategy and are going to be able to hopefully sell their Bitcoin for much more than they could today down the road. So again, slightly different strategy here from the management team at DigiHost compared to BitFarms or HUD8 Mining. Now in terms of the actual production highlights, they mined 75 Bitcoin during the month, so well on their way to that 120 Bitcoin monthly run rate, increasing their total holdings to just shy of 800 Bitcoin, which is valued at approximately $36.3 million dollars based on that Bitcoin price of 45,500, which we've seen used in some of the other presentations. Now, the other way they differentiate themselves is they're actually holding a fair amount of Ethereum as well. So they've got over a thousand Ethereum valued at just over $3.3 million based on a $3,300 Ethereum price. So combined between Bitcoin and Ethereum, they've got a total asset inventory of just under $40 million. 
So keep in mind, you guys, market cap on Digihost is about $110 million Canadian, and they've got about 40 million of that actually sitting in cryptocurrencies or digital assets. And as you can imagine with this expanding hash rate, some big year over year comparables. So the company mined approximately 82 more Bitcoin in Q1 of this year compared to Q1 of last year, which is about a 78% increase. And the value of the Bitcoin that they actually mined in Q1 of this year compared to Q1 of last year is about $2.3 million higher or about 37% more in terms of overall dollar value. Now, the other two things I wanted to call out from this press release, again, I told you guys there was a lot to unpack here. Number one is an infrastructure update. So during March of 2022, Digihost completed substantial infrastructure installation at its facility in North Tonawanda, New York. And they're actually now running uninterrupted mining operations at this site as they continue to install several critical or additional infrastructure support systems. So Digihost is now under contract and they're waiting for final public service commission approval to complete this acquisition. So this is going to be another location within their portfolio of American mining sites. And the final point here is in relation to their 2022 estimated hash rate. So Digihost is expecting over the duration of 2022, they're going to operate at an average hash rate of 1.5 exahash per second, which is approximately five and a half times the average hash rate of last year. So this is exactly what they mean when they refer to being one of the fastest growing Bitcoin mining companies in North America. Exponential hash rate improvement year over year. So honestly, a ton of really exciting stuff from the team at Digihost here, you guys. And as mentioned, a quick video update here to kick things off or get back in the saddle after my sickness. But this is definitely a company to keep your eyes on, you guys. Again, much smaller than some of the other competitors we talk about on the channel. But as we all know, some of these smaller companies, definitely a little bit more risky, but can also offer a lot more upside and reward. And I think Digihost's focus on growth the expansion into some new cryptocurrencies like Ethereum, the revolutionary dividend policy, and some of the other things we talked about in today's presentation definitely make this company worth a look. Now, I'd be interested in the comment section below to hear your thoughts on Digihost, the update we provided today, some of the operational developments at this company, and how you think Digihost stacks up to some of the other players like Bitfarms or HUD8 Mining that we talk about regularly on the channel. If you're still watching at this point, hopefully you found some value so make sure you hit the like button and if you're not currently subscribed to the channel mcnally money feel free to do so that's all for now thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day